Hello, my shining stars, Libra. So welcome to your April horoscope. I hope you will enjoy this drone footage over Vancouver with the beautiful cherry blossom trees that we have this month. First two weeks I covered with two other videos because we have retrograde Mercury that started in your house 7 and the effect of this retrograde Mercury will be felt until May 14th. That's why please watch the separate video for your sign and what retrograde Mercury in your house of relationship means. On April 5th, Venus entered your house 7, bringing you love, harmony, money and balance in your house of partnership and relationship. On April 8th, solar eclipse was in Aries, but the effect of this eclipse lasts 3 months. The new moon in your house 7 means that lots of things will be going on for everybody who has ascendant, sun sign or moon sign in Libra. House 7 collects lots of planets and lots of emotions and lots of events. This solar eclipse is significant because once per 50 years it has alignment with Chiron, the planet of magic, transformation and alchemistry. Chiron is the doctor, healer, guru, teacher. It can be your calling, your opportunity to heal your childhood traumas, especially connected with parents' issues, family patterns, karmic lessons, justice and education. This eclipse is number 139 Cyrus. Last time we experienced the spiral of this Cyrus in March 2006 and next will be in April 2042. More about Sun Eclipse together with Chiron you can watch on my channel. Eclipses happen every year on the karmic nodes and karmic nodes for Libras are on the axis of your house 1, house of identity and beginnings and house 7, house of partnership, relationship and family matters. On April 13th and 16th it will be quite emotional time because of the position of the moon. Stay away from drama and avoid your enemies. On April 19th Sun enters Taurus, it means that Sun will bring more light and more clarity to your house 8, house of mutual funds, inheritance, taxes, mortgage issues, intimate matters, sex and desires, the house of crises and addictions. You will be blessed by the beams of the spring sun. Mercury retrograde meets Venus in Aries in your house 7. You might dare to revisit the places where you've been before. You might dare to appeal on the court if you're not happy with the verdict. Do not borrow any money. When retrograde Mercury brings the matters, people or events from the past and align it with Venus in Aries, you might have courage to renew the relationship, to have second chances in your love life or your financial life. Your former ideas or projects will have the second chance. It's a great time to be open-minded, to make order in your home and in your life, to sell old items or junk that you don't need anymore, but be careful with con artists or people who love to manipulate others. People who cheated on you before might reappear in your life and it will be totally up to you to decide what you want to do with that. If you are not with good terms with your exes, it's better to stay away from them and not to be involved in any in any matters connected with your relationship until May 14th. And there is a reason for that. On April 20th, Jupiter in Taurus meets Uranus in Taurus in your house 8. House 8 is the house of mutual funds, house of crises and transformation. For many Libras, it will mean the division of the property, some court cases with your exes, the fight over custody, it will be the matters that will serve the purpose to bring balance and order in your life. The alignment of Jupiter in Taurus and Uranus in Taurus happens approximately every 84 years. In the transformative realm of the House 8, which governs shared resources, intimacy and transformation, this conjunction can bring about profound shifts in the areas 
such as finances, sexuality, and personal growth. It may herald unexpected windfalls or disruptions in financial matters as well as opportunities for deep emotional healing and spiritual evolution. Overall, it's time of powerful change and potential breakthroughs in matters related to finances and intimacy. The presence of Al Gol fixed star adds a complex layer to this alignment. Algol, known as Demon Star or Head of a Demon, is associated with intense and potentially destructive energies. It symbolizes violence, upheaval, and darker aspects of human nature. Its influence can bring about sudden and unexpected disruptions, challenges, and crises, particularly in the areas of finances, possessions, values, and security and safety. I have a separate video about all goal and how it affects people, especially if you have this star in your birth chart. Stay away from mentally unstable individuals. On April 23rd, full moon will be in Ophiuchus, in your financial house, highlighting themes related to personal resources, values, and material possessions. This full moon is a spotlight. It will happen in the 25th degree of Scorpio. And Scorpio means emotional intensity, prompting introspection into matters of security and self-worth. House 2 governs finances, assets, and possessions. So this full moon may bring awareness to issues surrounding money management, your personal money, financial stability, and material desires. It's time for reassessing your relationship with money and possessions, as well as recognizing the deeper emotional needs that underlie your material pursuits. This lunation invites you to delve into subconscious beliefs about abundance and cultivate a healthier, more empowered relationship with your resources and your talents. This full moon will also make you more vulnerable for fraud and con artists. Be aware of that. Is the house of voice you might have courage to protect yourself and finally to find your voice. Also, you might change your profession and choose something connected with your voice. The career of singer, lawyer, public speaker. A Feucus's presence adds the element of spiritual growth and healing to the mix. This full moon will have power of the snakes to heal or to kill. More about 13th Mystical Zodiac is in my ebook. If you would like, you can check it out on Kindle Amazon. On the 29th of April, Mars in Pisces will meet Saturn in Pisces in your house of relationships and partnerships. Saturn usually symbolizes obstacles, order, and discipline, but when it will have this conjunction, it will open you opportunities to bring finally order and clarity to your house of family, family matters, one-on-one -on -one relationships and partnerships, collaborations. But because Mars is in Pisces, it means not the open conflict, but a hidden conflict, something passive-aggressive. On April 29th, the same day, Venus will enter Taurus, entering your house 8. Venus in Taurus will bring you period of money, love, harmony, and stability, inspiration and art, influencing your house of crisis, inheritance, mutual funds, insurance payments, financial institutions, transformation, beliefs, or pregnancy. On April 30th, Mars enters Aries. The ruler is very powerful in its sign in your house 7. Mars is a natural ruler of Aries. It symbolizes an open conflict, brainstorming, war, passion, energy in your house of relationship, family, partnership. So you might expect that the conflicts might gain the financial development. Dividing of the property, inheritance disputes, surgical interventions, as the house 8 is also the house of unpredictable events. And the effect of Chiron with the sun might bring back a family member who passed away, but through pregnancy you will have the soul in your family again. While Mars will be in Aries in your house 7 until June 9th, stay away from conflicts with your exes, your lovers, or your enemies. Mars signifies firearms and weapons, 
the soldiers, it means a new dangerous contract, a new war, or to be wounded or to witness the death of foreigners. If you plan any medical interventions or operations, they will go well, because Mars symbolizes the surgeries, sharp objects, and fire. Burning passion, lust, love desires for change and transformations will enter your house of family, love, and relationships. Mars also signifies a courage, fighting your fears, confront your competitors, winning the hearts of your love or the financial grants, and in the competitions. Just a reminder, please handle any firearms and sharp objects with extreme care. Avoid mentally unstable people with firearms. If you are single and if you are looking for love, end of April is very promising. Love in your house 8 and Mars in your house 7 can bring you development in your personal relationship and from dating you can elevate your relations to the next level or if it's not your topic april will bring you healing and balance in the realm of your family your love life and intimate connections it's a great luck for students researchers and people who do the detective work it's a kind reminder for everybody if you have good relations to call your relatives, to call your children, or to call your parents and tell them that you love them. I wish everybody to have an amazing April. Thank you for your comments and likes. Hope to see you in my new videos.